A Sports. It's in the game. Hey, remember how we got here today? Because we smelled greatness. Because we wanted to be special. What does it take to win? Garrett Hartley could send the New Orleans Saints to their first Super Bowl. Teammates focused on the same goal. Fighting for the city they call home. There we go. It takes big risks that sometimes don't pay off. If they go for this, I am going to be absolutely stunned. This will be a decision they discuss for a long time. But when they do... Onside kick to start going up top!
Today's game is brought to you in HD by EA Sports and Madden NFL 11. Happy to have you alongside to what should be a fantastic football showcase. Who do you see as the key players for this matchup, Chris? Well, Gus, I've got my eyes on the two quarterbacks in this one. I had a chance to talk to both of these guys, obviously guys that have experience in this situation. They've been here before, and yet it's always so interesting. You can see a different look in their eyes when they're warming up. You know that they know the significance of these matchups, and it just adds another level of excitement to the football game. When you're talking about this kind of talent on the field, this should be a really good one. I know you're excited. I'm excited. Let's get it going. Interesting, Chris. Great storyline here today, and we'll follow that storyline as this game moves on. Jacksonville will be kicking off to begin the game. He'll down it in the end zone. He's searching for a receiver. He's brought down at the 27. Jones gains seven yards with the catch. We have extra guys coming on the blitz, so let's get around those blocks and stop him for a loss here. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Ray Mawaluga was there for the stop. I'm thinking run here, but don't get burned if they run play action. I don't want one of their receivers breaking free. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Looking for a man. He's wrestled down at the 38. Little seven-yard throws like that have really become the staple of the National Football League. So many defenses now not allowing the big throws down the field. You have to be willing to take throws just like that. All right. 
right, we have extra guys coming on the Blitz, so let's get around those blocks and stop him for a loss here. Cutler gives it left. And so many times you hear offensive coordinators criticize because they don't try to run the football enough. But when you get stuffed in the backfield like that, you understand why they would rather call the pass play. Guys, we're bringing extra heat to stop the run in the backfield, but if they play fake, we can't let their quarterback get that throw on. They'll be short. Great play by the defense. You always hear coaches talking about whoever gets lower. Get your pad level lower than the offensive lineman. That time, this defensive line did exactly that. Weddle is the deep man awaiting the return. Weddle will take it at the 21. That was really a good effort. There wasn't a ton of room for him to run, but he was able to get up the field, get a few yards. You never get upset with a punt return guy like that. It wasn't spectacular, but he got the job done. They weren't able to get the playoff. That will cost them five. That penalty will move them back a bit. Sloppy play right there. The one thing you learn as an offensive player is you can't give away yards. They are just too hard to come by. Establishing a run on first down early will open up the field for play action and deep passes later in the game. Gives it off. Hillis goes down after a gain of two. too fancy here just a straight out streak you're in shotgun so let your wide out get deep hit him in stride see if we can't get six here looks to throw it and the tackle was made by Corey Webster Tom Brady has proven to be one of the most productive quarterbacks in the league and in league history sure you've got some other guys in the league that you can argue maybe this guy's better that guy's better but when you look at this guy's career he is clearly one of the best ever second down. Just find whoever's open and get moving in the right direction. Going for the home run! Can't complete that pass. Tom Brady showed off the...
strength he has there, but unfortunately that ball was well off target. He's got to rein that one in a little. High, 22. High, go, go. Running out of time. Pass rush almost got there that time, and uh, he has to feel a little lucky that that ball just fell harmlessly to the turf. Goes into the end zone for a touchback. They couldn't do anything against this defense on their last drive, and they were forced to punt it away. Fargus takes it up the middle. Fargus picks up five yards. safeties deep but if one of their receivers breaks free over the middle we need to wrap him up before he takes it for a big game Fargus on the give and I have a feeling this one is coming back and it will come back penalty on the offense one thing we've learned about this defense it's hard enough to move the football against them you cannot help them with these penalties Dumps it out right. Cushing was there to bring him down. The first quarter here at Jacksonville Municipal Stadium was a scoreless one. All right, here we go. Our guy in the middle should protect us in case their receiver loses his man on the slant. Make sure we're ready to knock it down. Flips it out short. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and were all over that one. Weddle fields the ball at the 30. He brings it out to the 39. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. Okay, let's go with a halfback dive here. Nothing too fancy. Just follow your blocks up the gut. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Be patient here. You're out of the shotgun, so let the receiver get deep on this streak route and then fling it. Going up top. He's dropped down at the 20. Tom Brady is a guy who just has everything you look for at the quarterback position. He's smart. He has all the intangibles. He can make all the throws. And obviously, he's a winner. No doubt about it. This guy's a future Hall of Famer. Second down now following the incomplete pass. To the end zone. Right through his hands. He almost had the pick. All right, we're going deep here. You're out of the shotgun, so let your receiver run on this streak and throw it a long way. I 22. I 22. Going up top for the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown. Torrey Holt is just magical, I think, around the goal line. Great hands, great concentration, and you can just see his enthusiasm go up when that ball is in the air and he has any chance at all to score a touchdown. Big play, Torrey Holt. You are well named.
Jacksonville is up seven. Let's take a look at the drive summary presented by Verizon. Ginn will take off from the eight. Ginn can't hang on to the ball. You can almost feel the air being sucked out of a stadium whenever a ball hits the ground on special teams. Everybody goes... <laughs> coming in behind the pass rush I'm hoping that we can get to the QB if they run the ball don't here's a halfback the Browns are not doing a good job at all on the ground so far they need to somehow get that turned around because if you can't run it boy it is tough to throw the football The Browns aren't looking all that sharp at all right now in the passing game. And I know it's still early, but they have to be getting a little frustrated with their inability to attack this defense. James Jones was the intended receiver on the play. Eric Weddle is the return man. Weddle takes it at the 25. The Jaguars ended their last drive with a touchdown, so they'll look to make it two in a row. One, two, three, step. The pass is away. Michael Crabtree on the receiving end and his first catch of the game. All right, we're going to air it out on this streak to your wide receiver. You're in shotgun, so wait for him to get deep and let it soar. He gets off the throw. Tom Brady may not be perfect, but he has no issues whatsoever with accuracy. He delivers such a pretty pass, and when it's in there, you know it's going to be in the perfect position. Caught and dropped immediately. to the end zone. Robert Meacham was his intended target. All right, we have a couple downs to play with after the gain on first down. Let's try something deep on second and short and see what happens. Bad snap. Handles it, though. Robert Meacham was the intended receiver. I don't want to take a sack when we're this close to the end zone. The shotgun will give us a little extra time to find a man. Ready, 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 go, go! On the ground with the tailback. Touchdown, Jack! Pretty sneaky call that time by the offensive coordinator. He comes in with the four wide receiver look and runs the football for a touchdown. Sean Schwesom is good on the point after.
Cam's under it. He will start from his own five. It's only a two-possession game, but still, they need to get their offense going before things start to get out of hand here. All right, guys, we'll concede the middle of the field to prevent the big gain on the screen or the deep bomb. Watch out for a draw here. There's a lot of... It's a pass. He bats the ball away. Jason Witten was the intended receiver on the play. Okay, even though they're going five wide, I'm willing to take some guys out of coverage to rush the quarterback. Our guys in zone need to cover a lot of ground. Passes it downfield. James Jones was his intended target. You bring a little pressure and it impacts quarterbacks, and we saw it there. Okay, it's a passing situation. Lock down anything that'll give them first down yardage, and we'll end this drive right here. He rolls out to his right. The stop was made by Nathan Vasher. The Browns have been facing a pretty stiff pass defense so far. They haven't been getting too much on their completions, but that time, a big play, and that's exactly what they needed. All right, they converted on third down through the air, so look for them to come right back. Make sure our coverage is tight. Here's the pass. Cuts back, and he's dropped. Jay Cutler has now thrown for 2,000 yards this season. A sack would be nice, but the key here is to hurry the quarterback and force him to make a bad throw. Has a man to his right. Little flip. Feet don't fail me now. Touchdown, Browns. And finally, they score after seeing their opponents cross the end zone two times on their previous drives. Extra point is good. He makes it out to the 20. The Jaguars were able to put a scoring drive together on their last time out. It's the tailback. He's brought down at the 23-yard line. Well, that time the outside linebacker came on the run blitz. They got some penetration and shut down the play. He lets it go. He's wrestled down at the 49-yard line. And when you get a wide receiver with that kind of talent on the outside, he is a threat to take it all the way on any play. All right, nothing too fancy here. Just a straight-out streak. You're in shotgun, so let your wideout get deep. Hit him in stride. See if we can't get six here. 22. Hi, 22. Let's it go deep. And it's tipped away. Let's go, fellas. All right, we're going deep here. You're out of the shotgun, so let your receiver run on this streak and throw it a long way. Back, 
He's off target on the pass. Incomplete. And as we head to halftime, the score is 14-7. And he gathers it at the six-yard line. Who's going to come up with this one? The Browns fought for it and came away with possession. Well, you could tell he really had to fight some other guys to get to that football, so give him credit. He's not the biggest guy on the field. Complete. Nice catch. He's dropped down at the 17. All right, guys, listen up. We've accounted for anything down the middle of the field, but there still is room down the sidelines if one of their receivers breaks free. Passes short right side. They get him down, but it's going to be a first and goal for the Browns. Sending blitzes from different places here. Hopefully it confuses the quarterback and gets him to throw one underneath to one of our guys who drop back in cover. Cutler with the give. The Browns have to be frustrated with their lack of running success in this game. I mean, how many times can you get beat like that and still keep trying to hand the football off? Fill the hole and make him change directions. Cutler hands off to the left. He's tackled at the one. Gains nine. That brings up third down. That's not good enough, man. All right, if we can stop them here, we'll kill their momentum and give it to our offense. If we don't, well... Hit hard as he throws. Well, you can't ask for a more evenly matched game than this one. Just knock in the extra point, and we are tied heading to the latter portions of this one. Collects it at the 7. He makes it to the 23-yard line. Okay, head to the edge, and if the blocking does what we want, cut up field, gain some positive yards. Let's go, set. Hey. Hillis. Gets the carry. Hillis gets six yards on the play. You're taking a five-step drop on this play. Read the defense. 
If they're backing off, find your wide out on the medium curl. Should get us a good game. He's going to pass. What happened there? Well, the defense was in zone coverage. They got good pass protection. And anytime that happens, it tends to really stretch those zones and widen the holes. All right, we're running this one right up the gut. So look for the biggest hole and run it right through there. Let's go, set. High, 22. High, 22. Another run. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. Let's make a big push with our offensive line. We should be able to get our halfback into their secondary on this play. Hands it off. He's brought down at the 40. The Jaguars set out to run it down their throats. Had some success in the first half with that, and now it looks like all that running is really taking its toll on the defense. Hillis gains about four yards on the play. Okay, let's pound the ball. And they'll run him again. Nick Barnett tracks him down, wraps him up for the tackle. It's number five on the day. Okay, we're going. He needs to get rid of it. He's wrestled down at the 13. The Jaguars' passing game continues to impress. There's almost no resistance when they try and throw the ball. It seems like they're getting 10 to 15 yards every time. We've got a good one going here as we head to the fourth quarter. It's all tied up. The Jaguars will begin the fourth quarter in the red zone as they look to take the lead. He's going for it all. Robert Meacham was the intended receiver. All right, we're going to run a halfback dive here. Hold on to the football, follow your blocks, and we'll be golden. They give it off here. He gets to about the five. They pick up nine there. And so it will be third down. Okay, bring it right at him. If our line can get a little push. Let's go, set. High, 22. High, 22. Hillis again. Touchdown, Jacksonville. You got to love this guy. I had a chance to talk to him in the offseason. And the one thing that he said that drives him nuts about any running back are guys that run out of bounds. He wants to lower his head, create contact, and crush anybody in his path. Jacksonville is up a touchdown. And here is the drive summary brought to you by Verizon. Collects it at the seven. 
He makes it out to about the 27-yard line. A sack would be nice, but the key here is to hurry the quarterback and force him to make a bad throw. Passes it short. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. one behind the tackle if you can't get to the ball carrier fill the hole and make him change direction. feeds it to the back this is close they'll bring out the chain guys we're bringing extra heat to stop the run in the backfield but if they play fake we can't let their quarterback get that throw cutler hands off another conservative call when the clock is ticking yeah, and really the way the game is played these days, if you're good enough throwing the football, you can make conservative pass calls that are essentially like run plays. All right, guys, we'll concede the middle of the field to prevent the big gain on the screen or the deep bomb. Watch out for a draw here. There's a lot of room to run. Short throw to the right. Can he get a block? Wham! He's down the sideline. All right, come on. If we let them break big runs like that, we have no chance. If they're smart, they'll run it right at us. Sure to make an impact on the field are this game's top performers, presented by Gatorade. take it all the way to our end zone. We aren't going to let that happen. Focus and come up with a big play. Dumps it out right. The Browns are putting together a good-looking drive here. That's their third first down. Goes through his progression. He tipped the ball away. And they can't complete the first down pass attempt. Second down, coming up. Okay, guys, the only place to find room here is on the screen or short pass. If they run, everyone needs to break out of their zones to attack the ball. Short throw to the left. Brayton will drop him behind the line at the 37. The Jaguar will take their first time out of the half. Surveys the field. It's knocked down. Excellent play by the defender. Michael Jenkins was the intended receiver on the play. Okay, four down territory. You knew this was coming. Now don't let up and make one more big stop. Rolls to his right. And it's incomplete. Change of possession. some time. And the play clock is at zero. This delay should be a delay of game. Offense. Repeat, first down. Be 
patient here. You're out of the shotgun, so let the receiver get deep on this streak route and then fling it. They're going for the home run. The Browns will take their first time out of the half. Show them we're committed to our ground game. Let's push for a big gain on this halfback dive. They hand it off. Cleveland takes the timeout. That was their second timeout. Okay, all we're trying to do is run down the clock. Let's keep it on the ground and keep that clock moving. The Browns will take their last time out. All right, we're going deep here. You're out of the shotgun, so let your receiver run on this streak and throw it a long way. He throws downfield. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. Dennis Northcutt back deep to return. He's brought down at the 25. And as their offense comes onto the field, what are you looking for them to do? Well, there's still plenty of time now to get down the field for a touchdown, but they're going to have to hurry. You don't have time in this situation for the big mistakes, the interceptions, the fumbles, the sacks, the miscommunications. You have to be perfect on offense now. If they catch it short, I want 11 men running towards that ball. He's searching for a receiver. He's brought down at the 21-yard line. Well, absolutely no choice in the matter right now. This is four-down territory. You have to go for it. Really, the game's on the line right now. shotgun so let your receiver run on this streak and throw it a long way once the end zone comes down with it touchdown Michael Crabtree has so much ability and he's well utilized really in this offense he's a hard receiver to cover and there's really a certain toughness about him. He's going to fight you for position and for the ball. And he gathers it at the six-yard line. He gets this one to the 26-yard line. The quarterback is going to have time to throw, but with so many guys in coverage, someone should be able to step in front of the pass.
We aren't going to concede any yards over the middle here. If they going to take one last shot at the end zone here. Let's go. Let's go. One, Under heavy pressure. That's all from Jacksonville. The game's stats and highlights are next. Here's today's Swagger Player of the Game, presented by Old Spice Deodorant. Here's the play that rocked the stadium, the Doritos Crunch Time, Play of the Game. Our final score is Jacksonville, 28, Cleveland, 14. This has been a presentation of...